I'm going to start with a bit of coaching. Because I think it's the thing that's made the difference in some of the successes I've had as a coach. And the very first thing, the most important thing that I think you need to do is you need to create a culture in your business. There's an American football coach, famous coach by the name of Tom Osborne. He coaches college football. He's lives in the same state as me. They have five national championships. And he told me one, one time, just in passing, something that really changed my career. He said, James, you have a culture in your business, in any organization, on any team, in your business, there's a culture whether you want one or not. And because of that fact, I always felt it was my responsibility as a coach to create the culture I wanted so I could get the performance from the team that I knew we could achieve. So think about this. So who's creating the culture in your business if you're not? It's the guy that's seen four teachers and you're the fifth. It's a guy that's a 15 handicap, and he just thinks if he can figure out how, if he can get that left arm straight or figure out the right way to move his right arm, that he's going to be scratched. It's the guy that reads Golf Magazine or Golf Digest and immediately goes out to try that tip, and when it doesn't work, he goes on to the next teacher or the next tip. Is that really the culture you want? Is that how you're going to be successful? As coaches, we simply cannot allow this to occur at your facility with your students. Because there's one thing I know, and that is that bad students make you look stupid. I don't like looking stupid. And so uh, I have tried my, heart, my best to figure out a way to create good students at my academy. All right, so I want to just give you a picture of a typical lesson. 